Hello everybody! In the last video we started talking about color of those icons in here. So how it is possible that those icons are white in our app and inside Android preview they are black. And we even specified that we want them to be black when we created those icons. So firstly, let's start questioning how Android even knows that we want this thing to be purple or this thing to be blue. So there is a file called styles in Android. So you need to expand values folder and open these styles in here. So you can see here that we have something called team. So every team has colors that are specific to it. So by default, this team with dark action bar, uh, which already came when we initialized this project, contains those colors. Basically, some components of the Android will automatically get some of these. So you see that by default, primary color is the color of the action bar. So if we here change this color to, for example, this color, and if we now run the app, we will now have red action bar. So by default, Android will set color of this action bar to the primary color. Primary color has uh, different roles in our app as well, but also it can have impact on many other component in Android. Okay, so now is the question, uh, where are the colors of those icons defined? So how is it possible that they are white? Here, some components are not set but they, are, they have some default values. And one of those is icon tint color. So if we here add item, which is called icon tint, and we set color to be, let's say, black. So we would set it like this. If we now run the app, let's see what will happen. So now you can see that our icons in here are black. If you now wonder why is this icon tint by default white and why doesn't it behave like we specified in our, in our menu in here? Well, that's because of material design guidelines that Google is using and, and hardly suggest all developers to use. So basically they have some kind of rules or the guidelines that will make our app best and they determined that it is the best if the color of uh, items in the action bar is white so that's because by default they set it to white but we can override that value by putting icon tint like so so you can read about material design guidelines if you open google chrome and search about material design guidelines and open this link in here which is official android website for the android development you can here see uh, what they are preferring and what they use so basically if our team is is using dark action bar they prefer items to be white colored like on this preview in here and if we use light action bar, they would probably be black. So we will now change this dark action bar. We will just delete it and we will run the app to see what will happen. So now you can see that our text is black and those three dots are also black. And now we could even remove this eye content. But let's say that we want to have dark action bar and still to keep this text black. How we do that? 
we then also must override color value of this text and it is called it is called actually title text color and we could here set black if we now run the app let's confirm that this is the case so it is like we expect and now if you wonder how do we remember all of those things in here is it even possible to remember it well it is not by the experience you will remember some of the names and you can guess like I just did I just start started typing title text and I had this autocomplete feature and I guessed that this is it so you can check by running the app if it works like you expect now if you wonder how to change color of those three dots in here well I don't know how it is called so let's search on Google and see how would we find that we would here just start typing how to change color of the three dots in menu Android and let's see what we will have so we will click on this first link here and now this is Stack Overflow website so basically 99.99% .99 of the questions that you might have are already answered in here so I suggest you when you when you come up uh, with a problem always Google for it and try to find answer on this Stack Overflow so now let's search for the for the solution that might fit our problem so by the experience I know that this one here will help us because the, the, those three dots are called something like overflow and when I saw this overflow here I just knew that this will be the answer so I will just copy this in here and let's add it in Android Studio so this is new style that we are going to define in here and we now instead of this my custom team we must put app team so basically we need to set overflow of this app team which is defined in here if you go back to the site you can see that they also did that but instead of app team they had my custom team written in here and now instead of this drawable that we don't have we would just put some our drawable let's say that we want to display camera in here for example so now we are we are firstly gonna see how to change these three dots to some other icon and later we will see how to change the color and now when we define this style in here we need to include it in inside our base style which is the theme that our application is using so if you so how to do that if you go back in here we see that there is another item which is called action overflow button style so just like we changed title text and the icons that we are putting we need to change now those three dots and we will copy this we will paste it in here and we will just now set this style here which we defined so with this item in here we have changed we have overridden style of the action overflow button which is this here and if we click on this style it jumps in here and we see that for the SRC or the source image actually of the of this item we want to set camera so let's run the app and see what will happen we now have camera here and if you wonder how to change the color we will now here just add
tint attribute tint item and we will set color to be let's say this one yellow let's apply those changes and this is yellow now so now you see that position of this camera is not like we expect it to be it has no margin or padding at all so let's now search for that now we know that this icon here is called action overflow button style or actually we need to change that style for applying our own so we will now just copy this and we are going back to the Chrome and we will now say how to add space to the and just paste this button and open the first link and now we see that they have here some attribute called padding right and we will just copy this one and we will paste under our style and now when we run the app let's see what will happen so now you see the space in here basically there is no single developer that can know all the things in Android it is very big and complex topic because of that we simply must use Google and there is nothing bad in that we, we simply can't remember all of the names all of the items styles and many other things so be free to ask for help and for the questions on Google over 60% of the time developer and professional one spends on Google by searching something like we just did right now so there is nothing bad of it and you mustn't fear of asking questions so let's now also see how our Android app knows that we want to use this style in here as the primary one and not this one here so we will now open manifest file and uh, of the team attribute inside the application we see that this one is set in here and that also means that we can set own our own team for different activities let's quickly create new activity empty one just click on finish and we will say that this main activity too will be the launcher activity so we when the app starts we want this main activity too to be opened so we will just copy this part or actually remove it from here and paste it in here and when we now run our application we see how this activity looks like and let's see that we want to use some different kind of team in this activity for example we want to use the team that doesn't even have this action bar so, so let's see how we do it open styles and we will now define new style which will be called my style and as a parent we will specify team dot app compat dot no action bar just like this and we will say that primary color will be this one so we need to delete this Android actually we need to use color primary without Android in two dots and now if we open manifest file and inside this activity too in here we can make space here like this and we can put team to be my style so the one that we have just created and if we now run the program or our app
we will now see that there is no action bar and this background is weirdly grey colored. And this thing in here is black and let's add primary dark to be the one that we have specified in here. Because this color primary is referred to the action bar and since we removed it we didn't see this pink color anywhere. So now you can see that this primary dark is put in here. So basically we can use different themes for the different activities and if we want our activities to have all the same themes we would just use team attribute inside application tag. And if you wonder how is it possible that this background is great, well that's because this no action bar team by default has that gray color. And if you wonder how to change it, well google for it. See you in the next video.